Hello and welcome to another replay of Wargame European Escalation. This is Kusa, and uh, today I'm going to cast um, my teammate Bison playing as Pact against uh, Tiark playing as NATO. This is still a game from the Wargame Escalation series tournament. Uh, still the first round, so we're playing on Storm's Eye again. Um, this is a pretty funny game because both of these players are uh, pretty low level. Um, Bison didn't play any ranked game until now, I think, and Tiark is around 1500. So let's see what they did. Uh, Bison went for a pretty weird bu uh, build. He has three command vehicles, six Tangaskas, six tanks, six flame tanks, and a lot of infantry. Well, this is not really bad, I guess, because it's pretty balanced, and the Tangaskas are pretty good against uh, infantry and infantry vehicles. He should have just went for a little bit less anti-air and maybe some more uh, light vehicles or even a heavy tank. Tiark's lineup is pretty much a rush build. Um, he has 12 Martyr uh, VTS-1s, a lot of infantry uh, and um, some anti-air, mortar carriers and the more standard two command vehicles. So let's see what they're up to. I mean, I can't really uh, say I understand what Bison is planning because he's sending everything he has, including the free command vehicles, to hotel. While Tiark is doing the more standard approach of um, trying to secure the center island and um, getting Charlie uh, with a couple of units. But while this is not a bad idea, he sends everything he has up the hill and after you you see that your enemy is bunkered up with so many uh, troops on this uh, hill you don't try and send everything you have up there and I mean this is exactly what Tiark is doing after uh, losing his initial um, force to to the flame tanks and Tunguskas of Bison he just sends everything up the hill and I mean this is maybe even a, a good thing that, that Bison has uh, so many Tunguskas because they're pretty good against infantry fighting vehicles and uh, infantry in general. Uh, but yeah, the, the a fight goes as you might expect. Uh, both sides are losing uh, pretty much. But uh, yeah, the attacker is just losing more because he uh, doesn't see exactly what he's attacking and Bison has a pretty solid defense with flame tanks and uh, Tangaskas. I mean at this moment, yeah, both players did a lot of damage. Uh, Tiark is a little bit behind, but he can still come back considering he has the economic advantage. Uh, I mean, yeah, he has Charlie and Delta, while Bison is mm, too scared to secure anything else except Hotel. Uh, but, yeah, what does Tiark do instead of just uh, hanging back, solidifying his um, defenses and building up a big enough force to try and break this? He just goes for small attacks of infantry. Uh, up the hill again into the meat grinder. I mean, he knows there's a lot of flame tanks here. Why do you even try and go this way? This is the first, uh, actually, uh, logical thing he did. Getting more uh, mortar carriers. And sadly for him, I don't know, maybe he thinks Bison only has uh, one... A command vehicle so he tries to bombard it out of the woods where it usually uh, is but there's nothing there he's just shooting blindly instead of attacking the position where he knows there's a lot of flame tanks uh, of bison but yeah and what it, it does he do afterwards he sends cobras in I mean that's not a bad choice I guess if you would have just scouted first and knew where his anti-air is and where his command vehicles are. But you don't just send uh, expensive choppers into an enemy position where you do know 
there's anti-air and you do know there's infantry but yeah he continues I mean he didn't learn from losing his cobras he just gets more ta uh, more choppers but uh, in the meantime bison feeling confident I guess seeing he's uh, pretty far ahead um, attacks and um, manages to destroy almost everything uh, Tiark has. I mean, the only thing remaining right now uh, are those two AML-60s and this command vehicle. And those uh, four choppers which Tiark managed to get again, which I, I don't see the point of. I guess he, he thinks uh, he actually really thinks uh, Bison only has one command vehicle and he tries to snipe it just to end the game uh, while he still has the chance. While he still has the command points. But yeah, right now the situation is pretty grim for uh, Tiark. It's actually pretty grim for him, pretty funny for anyone else watching. He <laughs> only has one command vehicle and two AML-60s mortar carriers. I mean... If, if Bison knew his uh, opponent has so little stuff left, he would have just taken these uh, armored personnel carriers and just stormed this command vehicle and destroyed it in like 30 seconds. But yeah, Tiark, uh, I don't know, he's per perseverant, he doesn't really want to give up. He's uh, getting more tanks, he's trying to shoot with his artillery to soften up this position. But yeah, what does he do? He sends his tanks directly into a defended forest. Which is not really the definition of smart, is it now? I don't want to be rude or anything, but I just wouldn't do this. If you want to really keep uh, playing, just do it in a smart way. I mean... Uh, Tiark can't really do anything at this moment. He just uh, calls in more and more patterns and while he didn't uh, manage to um, break through Charlie, he tries to break through on the other side. But Bison is prepared. He has infantry, he has Tanga uh, Tangaska, he has more infantry. Uh, this is something he won't be able to break. Uh, he even calls in um, choppers. On the other side, uh, yeah, Tiark tries to do something sneaky, although it wouldn't matter anyway. He gets some Delta Force. Uh, but yeah, Bison is pretty well prepared. He has uh, infantry defending his uh, command vehicle. Which is a point I want to commend. Because even very high level players just forget or don't defend their uh, headquarters at all. Which is funny because it's the most important unit actually you have. You should be able to um, deflect any kind of light infantry rush or choppers or anything like that. And while Bison doesn't have any anti-air or flamethrower tanks, he has enough infantry to defend uh, against most small attacks. So yeah, well done Bison, uh, you deserve the win. It was kind of a funky build, but it worked, so yeah, congratulations. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.